Hi, I've got Ryan with me. Um, this is Chris of Spurred on. Got Ryan with me. Um, West Brom won, Spurs won. Ryan, what do you think of the game? Disappointing, really. I thought we started quite well. Possession. I thought we all went to pot once we scored. Yeah, it all looked great after 15 minutes. Deli Alley obviously putting us 1 0 up. Um, why, do you think that, that, you that, that, why do you think that didn't continue and we didn't go on to win the game? I don't know. I think the defence today looked a bit shaky. 50 50 balls we bottled out of. <laughs> A bit disappointing all round, really. Well, with Leicester um, winning again today, um, you know we're now six points away from from top. Yeah. Um, where do you think we're going to finish in the league at the end of the season? Wouldn't like to say, probably top five. You do think it'll be top five? Yeah, I don't think top five. Yeah, I don't think we've got the belief there. It's just a small hurdle we unfortunately didn't get over today. But yeah, like you say, yeah, Leicester and Arsenal and City dropping points. We should have maybe made the most of it, but we didn't. Typical Spurs. So, uh, so come January, who would you like to see uh, Daniel Levy get his uh, checkbook out for? Another striker. I think Harry Kane needs a bit of pressure taken off of him. Um, again, it's difficult. Who's out there? Maybe a cheeky bid for Vardy, but it's going to be a lot of money, obviously. On a positive front, we've uh, now gone 14 matches unbeaten. Um, last loss in the Premier League at the, on the opening day. Um, you know, it's a, it's a club record for 30 years that, that we've had that long running going. Um, what do you think that's down to? Just a lot of belief all round. The young players have been given a chance and every one of them has taken the opportunity. Poch has gave everyone equal opportunities. Other players haven't taken it. I feel today's son come on, he didn't make an impact at all. Probably the game where we probably could have done with Mason, which, to be honest, I've probably been his big, biggest criticizer all season. But we needed him today because other than Dia, no one was putting their head on the line. Yeah. So yeah. Well, let us know what you think um, in the comments section below, um, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV.